I Am Big is an online talk show sharing what's working in a big way. It is about redefining what it means to be big. Hi, everybody. And today, it is going to get hot and spicy here at I Am Big. We have a dear friend, Rupan Rao, who came all the way to Chicago from D.C., to talk to you guys about how to simplify Indian cooking. That's for over nine years, he has been sharing everything he has learned from his lovely mom. We both love our moms, so that's one thing in common. To all moms watching, thanks for everything you do. And all the lovely cooking he learned in India growing up from his mom, he has captured all of that and has been sharing that with people, thousands of people for the last nine years. And it is my pleasure and honor to invite you to my show. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Ayush, for inviting me. Thank you. Thank Give you me a hug. Pleasure. Give me a hug. Now, stop being so, like, formal with me and kind of, okay. as I say, like in India, don't be formal. Be a little bit more kind of happening. So, one thing, if any of you who try to do Indian cooking know that it can be complex. That's correct. How have you simplified Indian cooking? Uh, the goal started with a simple philosophy. I call it Simply Indian, where I'm taking uh, average ingredients that are readily available everywhere and trying to cook healthy Indian meals with that. And uh, more and more as years have passed by, I've seen that more stores carry more Indian ingredients. So that has made my job easy. Like you mentioned earlier, my sole inspiration is my mom. Um, I learned all my cooking from her growing up. I saw her cook and all these recipes are pretty simple. You know, when you do something organically and when you do something from your heart and your soul, it grows. And that people always wonder like, how do I make a brand? How do I make a brand? Well. Do something you believe in and share and give and you do make a brand. Rupan's right here, which is spices and book and bunch of stuff we'll just talk about later, is a brand which started right from Rupan Rao itself. So right. what, what a pleasure. So tell us, tell us about your new book real quick before we so start. I just launched this book um, in the past holidays. It's a tribute to my mom. The book is a collection of all her recipes. I just had to translate that in English and uh, it's a tribute to all the years that we spent eating great Indian food back at home. Yeah. Well, so we'll be back with the one and only simple yet spicy Rupan Rao after the break with a hot recipe just for you. Keep watching. No human being deserves to be told that they are small because that ain't the truth. After being told that I was too fat to do anything and I will not make it, I made it and I made it big, both professionally and personally. Now it's time to do something bigger and I'm gonna do it with you. I know I am big and so are you. I am big is an online talk show sharing what's working in a big way. It is about redefining what it means to be big, to dream big, to act big, to grow big and to share big because big goes way beyond size. Big is who we are and how we live. We are traveling around Chicagoland and beyond to bring you stories of everyday people doing big things. Join our movement today on IamBig.com and share with us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Sending you a hug from Chicago. Hi everyone, back with one and only simple yet spicy Rupan Rao showing us how to make chickpea curry or also known as chana masala in India. So Rupan, what do we got going here? Okay, so the first things first, we have to turn the gas stove on. Why, wow, you gotta heat things okay. up Rupan? Yes, if things are not heated hot up, in here? they will not cook. Okay. Yeah, okay, cool. So tell us what, what's, what, okay, what are the, the stuff you first thing that goes yeah. in is light oil. Okay. It can be vegetable, peanut or canola. Okay. And if you don't have any of these, then even uh, olive oil is fine. Okay. Okay. So okay. I'm adding about three tablespoons. I heard somewhere that you shouldn't eat heat olive oil after a certain point. So I'm not been, I don't know. Do you, have you heard that about? I heard that as well. Okay. So let's just keep using vegetable canola or peanut. Okay. okay. I love olive oil though, by the way. So how much service. oil do you add? That's always yeah. a question. You add yeah. enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan okay. and a little bit more. Once the oil gets hot, and how mm -hmm. do you know that the oil gets hot? You take a small piece of the onion mm -hmm. and drop it in. If it starts to sizzle, the oil is hot. Otherwise, okay. onion is telling you that oil is not hot. Ooh. Okay, so the oil is hot now. The onions are sizzling. So what I'm going to do is add one cup of red onion. Now, I usually, you know, in our Indian cooking, we always use red onions because they have more flavor. deeper color, yeah. flavor, more acid. So you cry a lot. So all I'm doing now is sauteing onions. One thing to remember is spread the onions in the pan 
and do not keep stirring. If you keep stirring, onion takes longer to say, don't stir the pot, honey. Don't, don't stir, stir the pot. pot. Don't stir okay, the pot. Okay, so just kind of let it start. Yeah, and then after uh, every minute, you can stir it again. So how long does it take? About five to seven minutes. Okay. Five to seven. On medium high. Okay. And then we'll add ginger and garlic. Okay, and this is freshly? Yeah, freshly chopped. It's okay. about a tablespoon of fresh garlic. Okay. Garlic always peeled. Okay. Kay. And a tablespoon of fresh ginger. Okay. Ginger with the skin on is perfectly fine. Okay. Okay, so when it starts to caramelize, so that's the time you add ginger. My God. Okay. And a tablespoon of garlic. Okay. And what you're doing now is we have to cook the raw flavors of ginger and garlic. Okay. Just the same way we cook. Smells so good. Yeah, it smells good, right? And if you see, uh, ginger and garlic start sticking to the bottom of the pan, mm -hmm. and that's all right. You just have to suck it up because that's what ginger and garlic do. Okay. Make sure it's not getting burnt. Crazy. So we had about half a cup of onion. A okay. tablespoon of ginger, a tablespoon of garlic, mm -hmm. uh, about three, two or three tablespoons of oil. Yeah. Um, the rule to making a good chickpea curry is equal amounts of tomato and equal amount of chickpea. And how, how much does this serve? So this serves about three to four people. Okay. Yeah? Assuming you have a side dish okay. and rice or bread. Okay. okay. So you see when it starts to get done, it starts, uh, onion starts to uh, turn light brown in color, garlic starts to change its color. Okay. And always when you're stirring it, just keep spreading the onions and ginger garlic so they all cook evenly. Okay. To this, we will add tomatoes. Can you pass me some tomatoes? Yeah, of course. Happy to, be your, happy to be your sous chef today. Mm -hmm. So these are Roma tomatoes because okay. they are medium size mm -hmm. uh, and they have more flavor and color. Yeah. You give it a good stir, tomatoes yeah. will take some time to cook. Yeah. When tomatoes will start to pulp, that means that the curry is telling Rupin I'm getting ready. Okay. Okay. Got it. You've, you've seen that we've not added any spices just yet. You okay. only add spices when you've added tomatoes because you don't want ground spices to burn. Okay. If you add them along with onion, ginger, and garlic, they will burn immediately. Okay. And the powdered okay. tomato won't just won't get the right flavor yes. either. Yeah. Yeah. And how much tomato? Oh, you said the equal amount of the. Yeah. So a cup of tomato, a cup of uh, chickpea. So a couple of chickpea cans are you using? Uh, I'm using one chickpea can. Okay. So one chickpea pan, a can, equal, and sim similar amount of tomato. Yeah, about 10 ounces, yeah. Okay. So we will add two spices. Okay, just two. Wow. Just two. Okay. okay. And that's, that's the goal, right? You get these spices that are stored bought. You're not making them. Okay. Once upon a time, our grandmoms uh, used to make them. Wow. But now all you do is go to a store. Any store? Any store will have this, yes. You mean any, any supermarket type of thing? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Any grocery store. You don't have to go to an Indian store. Or okay. That's, that's great store. to know. The first one is curry powder. Okay. okay. What is curry powder? It's just a mix of turmeric, cumin and coriander. Okay. So it's like... But it's sold as curry powder. Curry powder, yeah. Okay. Uh, different brands will add different uh, ingredients to it. But this is what it is. If it has cayenne in it, it will become hot curry powder. Okay. So one tablespoon. Okay. Okay. So the regular curry powder is fine. This is regular curry powder, yeah. Okay, one tablespoon. Nothing special. Okay. Stir it. And now curry mm, powder is... I'm so is hungry. In the spice family, curry powder is the sister and she has a brother. The Who's bro the brother? The brother is uh, garam masala. Ooh, okay, so garam, garam is hot. hot Ooh. And, uh, masala, masala is spice. Is <laughs> yeah. So garam hot masala brother. is everything that... We like hot brother. <laughs> So garam masala <laughs> is everything that curry powder is not. Okay. Okay. So it has cinnamon, black pepper, bay leaf, cardamom, a lot of many spices. Okay. My mom makes her own garam masala, but we all work full time yeah. and uh, we are busy, so we don't no, the whole, make the our whole own garam masala. Thing is fine, yeah? So what we have now is a base. Since we are adding chickpea to this, it becomes chickpea curry. Okay. If you add any other vegetables, then it will be. It will okay. not be chickpea curry. Cool. And for meat eaters, they can add meat, sure. Yes. We've not added any salt, so... What kind of salt? Any? Just regular salt is fine. Okay. Any uh, sea salt. How much? Um, I start with half a teaspoon. You can always add salt, but you can never remove salt. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. And if it's too much salt, then it's too late. And then we'll add garbanzo. And is there one can? Ooh, you're excited. There's one can of garbanzo <coughs> rinsed. If you like it dry, you can leave it like this. Okay. I like it a little saucy because we normally eat it with white basmati rice. Yep. So I will add a little bit of water to this. Okay. So about half a cup of water. Oh. You just just oh that tap water is good. Can we just yeah. use that? Okay. Now when you cook this for about five to six minutes, all the flavors come together. Okay. You can speed up the process by 
partially mashing these chickpeas. Okay. So you will not completely mash it. Okay. Um, you'll just use the back of the spoon and mash maybe a third of them. To this, I'm going to add lemon. Okay. Um, use your fingers. Is that okay? Use your fingers to hold the seeds. Well, you clean your hands, don't you? Yeah. Okay, that's something. Okay. Yeah. So what I do is I use my fingers as a filter for any seeds. So about a tablespoon so Please wash those hands, everybody. Lemon juice. Mm -hmm. So the good news is this is the end. Okay. This is almost the and end. And then we have some chopped cilantro. Okay, which is also available at every store. Yeah, cilantro. Yeah. And the great thing about cilantro is that the stalk of cilantro has much more flavor than the leaf. Okay. So always use the entire cilantro. Okay. Rupan is getting ready to serve his wonderful chickpea curry, which took about 20 minutes to make from scratch pretty much. Wow, that looks great, Rupan. We're so hungry. Thank you. Thank you. What kind of wine would go with good with this, do you think? Um, that's a good question. Uh, a Riesling or a uh, Gouda A sweet okay. wine. Okay, fine. so it's yeah. kind of like a Swedish, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. like a, uh, any white wine with like a little sweet tea. Yeah. Okay. And then you serve it usually with basmati rice? Yeah, I made this rice beforehand. You use a rice cooker for that to make it simple? No, or? I just made it in a pot. But it's easy to make it in a rice cooker. Yeah. So, or naan too, naan bread? Yes. Which a lot of stores now sell, like or pita or naan or, okay. Or even <laughs> quinoa or... Huh? And Julia Child said that if you want to know how it tastes, then taste it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then... Okay. Um, another sprinkle of cilantro. Okay. It looks great. Bon appetit. Thank you. Wow. Everybody watching, I hope you're gonna try this so you can taste this with us. But you can taste some too, you know. That's good. You can need more salt. That's the thing, you can put a little bit more salt. Yeah, because it's a light salt, remember? Yep. That's great. Oh, that's. Yeah, it's light salt. It but do I, like. I don't need a lot of salt, so. No. All right. No cayenne in it, so no heat. That's great. Okay. Everybody watching, thanks again, Rupan, for coming to Chicago and sharing this awesome recipe with us, doing this great stuff. Well, you are big. Thank you, here's the I Am Big Band for you. And we wish you all the luck with everything you're doing. You're a sweetheart. Great, great wish with your book. Thank you. For everything you do with Rupan, the spices and things like that. We will be posting this recipe and more information on Rupan's fun, wonderful work on I Am Big. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful flight back. Thank you, thanks for that, Ayush. Thank you. Take care.